last series of projects in the foundation section of the ALX software engineering program. So the portfolio project is a series of seven projects or seven weeks projects and each of those projects includes various tasks to do. So the nutshell of the project is about you building, creating a system, you are building a project, either a software, you are building an application, that mobile application, web application, the website, whatever it is, building a project and it includes you submitting the proposal, approving the proposal and you executing the project. Alright, today's video will be based on the third week project and I'm making this video because there's a complication when it comes to Trello board, especially for people who have never used Trello board or any project management software before. So this will help you and if you want to get the full, uh, the entire video for the portfolio project, the overview, how to start, what exactly it is in depth, you can get the video from the link in the description of this video. Alright, so let's get started. What is Trello and what is Trello board? Trello is a free project management software. A project management software is a software that can help you track your task, track your progress, uh, what you need to do when you need to finish. Trello is one of it and Trello uses a Canva board to visually track the implementation of a feature set from to do to done all right from the to do from the proposal to when you actually finish so Trello makes it easy to assign tasks and for people who have collaborators and people who have uh, partners in the project it's easier to assign a particular task to somebody and like for example this person is doing this this task and there's a time frame of when it should be delivered so it helps the project to be properly managed and uh, I think ALX is going for this particular project management software because it is free but of course it has a premium version but the free version can do what Ever you want to do with this project so that is all about trello and in this video i'm going to show you how to get started with trello especially if you have never used any project management software before so how to open an account with trello start your projects from the beginning to the end how you can use trello how do you get into trello you can either you create the link uh this trello here or you just head to your browser and type www.trello.com so when you get to trello.com this you can just type this and you get here this is going to be the interface you're going to see so what you need to do from here is to so come here for people who does not have a trailer account and for people who have a trailer account you can just log in here for people who don't have an account so what they need to do is just to come to this get trailer for free it's that blue button and takes you to a place to sign up there's a sign up page and i'm going to use continue with google so you can as well enter your email and well i'm going to use continue with google and it's going to refer you to this page and i'm going to select my google accounts that i'm going to use for this trello account it's going to bring me to this page where i will click create your account so this interface is opened up and as you can see uh, welcome to Trello. We are glad you made it here. Let's start organizing your project so you can get things done. Alright, so what you need to do is to click build your first board. So when you click that, it will ask you the name of your board. For people who are just starting up, for people who already have an account, it opens up your already created account. And you can just say portfolio project and it next. And of course it's asking you the name of the list but you can just hit the next button and next and just hit this one last thing you're going to still create all of those when you get into okay. so it brought this and you can just cancel this because you don't need a premium account so now as you can see it uh, brought out your workspace so you can see this is Teal's blog workspace and it is a free account so the first thing you're going to do this is the first thing you must do and for this project just come here and make sure this workspace is public so next thing you're going to do here is to start creating the project so we have to go back to our intranet to see the list we need to do so here we have to do list here we have doing and we have done and under here you can add different cards of what you are doing what you need to what you are currently doing what you are done with uh, part time 
and you can add another list here and give it another name deployed and i add this list so you can see deploy is already here so let me remove all this list so that we can start let's archive all this list so all right so i have all this list archived and they are out of the so now i can go back to my internet to see the list we are to create in this project so now my screen is splitted and on this side we have my intranet and here we have my trello board so we can work hand in hand with each other go down and so the task so the first task we have here is uh the share that's the zero share your trailer board to do this it's very easy just come here click on this share button just click here and uh, select create a link and your link is created and you can just hit copy link come here they can come here paste your link here and save it so i'm going to be removing that because that's not part of the one i already have here that's how you can do the task zero and the task one we have column headers that means you need to create your column headers and how do you do that come here and and they have we have a, a number of headers you need to have here but before we do that you might want a better background than this so you just need to click on these three dots here and here you can have you have your change background it on the change change background you can select photos you can select colors so let's select photos and try to load different type of footage so i think i'm going to choose uh, this so let's select this and let's see how it work so you can see let's cancel this all right you see we have a picture from on splash and now you can create your list so the first one it will be proposed as we have here all right it add list and this proposal already created let's let me show you so you can see we move to the next one now so we have we have a series of headers so this task is done with creating these headers and moving on to the next we have to create card under each header your proposed should be created when you are in the first uh, section of the portfolio project that's the project research and approval the first one we have it here okay this week one this project proposal then you're gonna have i think three of them so you should uh, add these cards of what you are doing so so we are giving examples of the cards we can add so they said in the proposed column all right so you need to create cards to fully represent the engineering task necessary to implement let's say probably you need to create a login say for example let's use the example they use it you want to implement login so just add card you can call this a uh, login 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 section and you add this card and this here you can click on this edit option and open the card or for let's open the card from here so now the card is being opened and here we can actually write all of what we want to do you can just add description so what should this what should this person do what should this person do let's say the person need to uh, probably implement login probably as the first one you can add columns uh and add a, this this is a nice formatting uh tool we have nice formatting tools here you can just create the list of what the person need to do let's say this is the description then you save this i need to add add a member let's say you want to add somebody to it and before now i think i should show you how you can invite your collaborators let me show you that in a minute and we'll come back to this all right so here you can come to members and in this place invite workspace members here 
you can just input their email address here and let's say i want to invite uh, CEO's blog oh, at gmail.com and now I create this and you can edit this message and say join this Trello whatever it is then you can send the invite to this email or you can create a link here and copy the link and send to the person then the person or must already have a Trello account and the person can join so if the person has joined let me cancel this and come back to your board here boards here and you can scroll down as you can see your portfolio project so click on this and we are back to our board and so back to what i uh, was speaking about you can open card here and you can add you can add members so you add somebody probably have two people to handle this section in this week this is the first week so you can just here and search for members name all right you can see i have to use blog as a board member here and you can add the person assign the person to this project all right and uh you can do a checklist create a checklist to uh you can give it any name probably this is just like tasks what's the best thing to do to implement the login so this should be check lists all right so we have the user login we have the guests login those are the things the person should do uh probably let's say we want something like the sign up the sign up uh option for people who don't have an account so and like that like that you can have stuff like this and you can add as many uh, uh responsibility you need to do this week so you can be checking when this is done you can mark this done when this is done you can mark this done and of course you can add comments activities and all of that you can add more tasks under this proposed section here is assign card so all right i think we have done we have done this already so each card is assigned so you can assign ownership of a card that means give the role to uh, a particular person and uh moving on to the next thing you can invite a collaborator you can invite put the invite link to invite the technical member a technical staff rather to uh, uh check this project so approve this your trello board so you can do this again and share and get the link or you can mail the best the staff if you have the mail and if you don't you can just copy this link here and put it also okay and put it here it's already here so the person can actually join join as a member all right and check what you have done and that's the invite collaborators so to so task five now set due date so you can set a date for uh a particular uh list so you can come here under this card and set the due date so click this edit button and you can open the card here when you open the card here you can scroll down and you can see date so when you click on dates you can set uh date so this is uh today's date so i can come here and say set this day and uh set a reminder a day before that day to remind us so here you can scroll down here and save this due date all right so the date is saved 
and a day before that day you'll be reminded that you need to finish up with a project or a particular task assigned to each participant so and also we are to uh, add few mandatory tasks all right which is to create representation create project landing page and so you can add all of these under approved so you can see you can add all of these under approved as as you continue your project you keep seeing tasks to do per project so let me cancel this and share what i'm trying to say so under approved here under approved you can actually add this tag create presentation create project landing page and all of that and you keep doing that as you continue with your project so you keep doing that as you continue your project here you uh, have project in progress so you add cards again the things you are doing when your project is in progress next thing when your development is completed the things you are doing at this stage you add and add responsibility and here when you are testing you add you add the responsibility where platform to text and assign it to each person in the team and here the deploying part where you deploy where you are deploying to how you're going to do that who is responsible for which task on that this part of the project and when you are done with that you can just share the link to uh or if you had done that earlier there's no point doing that again so and you are done with this project and you continually use this till you complete the project so i hope this video has helped you in any way if it has kindly think of subscribing to this channel and we keep uploading videos that will help your journey through alx and programming in your career as a o have a great day bye